بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد اي الاحباب our love and hatred should be based upon kitab illa wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that we do not build groups and sects and parties based on individuals based on new newly invented matters for example there's no need for the secret bay'ah as a qana muslimin has or as some american groups uh like iqamat ad-din and other groups have we don't need that it's not in accordance with the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to make these kind of bay'ah these secret pledges of allegiance to particular individuals and groups at the expense of the rest of the jamaah of the muslims and it's not necessarily it's not necessary to divide into groups and the sects and have an allegiance and blindly follow imams as the various hizbis hizbi uh groups and organizations do and those who fall into that sickness that human condition and the shia who believe in the infallibility of their imams that's not necessary it contradicts the statement of allah azza wa jalla allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-karim wa atasimu bi habli lahi jami'an wa la tafarraqu and it hear all of you steadfast to the rope of allah and do not divide so how can we be one hand when we're busy blindly following individuals particular scholars a group of scholars two to three scholars or whatever the situation may be or to our imam or to our marid our sufi uh saint that we take the pledge of allegiance to the bay this is not permissible in islam and it will only cause enmity between the muslims and division and then we will only assist in those things which the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam prohibited but let us know and prophesize that would happen as the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam said if tarakat al-yahud ala 70 firqa wa tarakat an-nasara ala 270 firqa wa sataftariku hadhihi umma ala 73 firqa kullaha fi an-nar al-wahida kullu man hiya ya rasulullah qala man kana ala mithli wa ma kana alayhi wa sahbi on yawm kama qala an-nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam said <coughs> the jews were breaking the 71 sects the christians in 72 sects my umma in 73 sects all of them in the hellfire except one they said who are they ya rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam said those who are upon what i'm upon and what my companions are upon radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in so it's not permissible for us to form a new group a new sect a new group of a new clique at the expense of the religion of Allah azza wa jal at the expense of kitab Allah wa sunnat rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and the understanding of the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in who are the asl of the jamaa they're the asl they are the origin of ahl sunnah wal jamaa as i've said on countless times the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam said la tazal taifatun min ummati zahirin al haqq hatta ya'tihum amr Allah wa hum ala dhalika kama qala an-nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam in sahih muslim the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said there will not cease to be a group from my nation that is on the truth no uh until the affair of Allah is fulfilled and they will be upon it meaning that up until yawm al-qiyamah there will always be ahl sunnah there will always be ahl haq there will always be ahl hadith and who are they they are the ones who tamassik and adhere to the quran and the sunnah and what the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala anhum ajma'in were upon in creed and methodology in understanding the nusus the text in manners all of those things which make up this beautiful religion of islam and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from the evil and the wickedness of those people who wish to see muslims harm and those sects 
that have deviated, especially the Shia and especially the uh, Jamaat al-Ahbash and others who love to spill the blood of Muslims and who do not have any allegiance except to their imams of dalal, of deviation and wickedness. And may Allah bless the Muslims everywhere and protect the Muslims everywhere.